In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create transparent assets. So what do I mean by transparent assets? Well, when you look at these curtains over here, you see the sheer curtains, you can see through them. So they are semi-transparent, right? And there is a special way to do this in Horizon Worlds. So I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Uh, there is some very, very basic uh, Photoshop knowledge required and there is some very, very basic Blender knowledge required and of course you will need to know how to uh, import it all inside the desktop editor so you do need to have some very basic editor knowledge uh, as well. So let's jump right to it. The first thing we're going to do is to create the texture itself inside uh, Photoshop, prepare it in Photoshop. Uh, so what you see over here, this is a document I created in Photoshop. If you want to go from the very beginning, you can just go to File and New. And I like to go with a 2K image, so 2048 by 2048. And that creates a blank document. So this is a this is a good place to start with a 2K uh, texture image. So I already have something over here. I already brought in a picture of curtains. Uh, so these are actually the one on the right. It's actually a photograph that I took inside of this historic house when I'm when that I'm creating the virtual reality replica of. Uh, the one on the left is actually AI generated. So it. It's up to you where you get your images, uh, but I just have these two curtains that I have in uh, my Photoshop canvas. Now, notice that there's nothing in the background, although let me just show you something very quickly. If I create a layer and I'm going to very quickly put a black background behind the curtains, you kind of get a better sense of what these curtains look like when you have a black background. But this is just for demonstration purposes. It is actually important for us to not have any color background. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to disable it for now. And because when we export this, we want to make sure that we export this as a transparent file. But we'll get to it in just a second. Before we export as a transparent file, when I click on my layer, Notice that I have my handy opacity slider right here. So I could actually adjust my opacity right here. So this is going to be up to you. How semi-transparent do you want it to be? Do you want to barely see it or do you want to mostly see it, right? So this is going to be up to you. And again, with the black background behind it, you kind of get a better sense of what I'm talking about. So do you want to barely be able to see these curtains? or do you want to see them really, really well? And um, yeah, so this is something you will have to play with. And to be honest with you, uh, this is where uh, iteration comes into play. It is very likely that you will not know if it works really well until you bring it into Horizon Desktop Editor and then you do it, kind of go back and forth several times. All right. So let's say that we are happy right here at this setting and I am going to delete this black layer. We don't need this. Make sure that you have nothing underneath. This needs to be a transparent, a transparent um, uh, image. And now I am going to go to file. I'm going to go to export, go to export as now make sure that you select PNG. We want to have a transparent PNG. So PNG and check transparency. Very important that you check transparency. If you do not check transparency, this will not work. So PNG, transparency. I click on export. And here I am going to call it material underscore BA. So this is a very important thing that you stick to certain naming conventions, make sure that you use this exact name. So material underscore BA, BA and then PNG. So let's go ahead and save that. And that's it. Our texture is ready. 
the next step is going to be Blender. So I am inside uh, Blender right now. I do have a 3D model, a very basic 3D model of a curtain that you can just take a look over here. Uh, it's not it's not too bad about 320 vertices each so it's not it's not huge it gets the job done and I think it actually works quite well for a low poly uh, environment so right now it's not textured yet we'll get to it in just a second and um, one of one thing that I would like to flag right away is that make sure this is going to be probably the most important thing inside that you will do inside Blender. Make sure that the, the, the uh, material that you use inside Blender, the name of the material that you use inside Blender is material underscore blend. Again, this is the key thing that you are doing inside Blender. It is extremely important that you name it material blend. All right, so I have my material here. This material is applied to both of these curtains. If you take a look at uh, my document, I don't really have a texture yet. And actually, if you look at my shader editor, uh, well, there is nothing connected here yet. So I'm just going to drag in the texture that we created in Photoshop a moment ago. So I'm just dragging it right here, just like this and I'm going to connect it right here, just like that. All right, so you see it applied over here. You don't see transparency, right? You see the black background. Do not be alarmed. That is perfectly fine. Everything, everything is perfectly fine. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at my UV editor here. Let's take a look at um, how the UVs are applied. Uh, I am skipping a part over here when I manually applied these, when, when I did manually the UV mapping over here, although it is pretty straightforward, but you can decide how you want to map these textures onto these curtains over here, of course. And uh, a UV mapping tutorial would be a huge thing in itself, so I am purposely kind of just skimming over this part. But, uh, you know, in a case of a texture, it actually is, I'm, I'm sorry, in the case of a curtain, it actually is pretty straightforward. I didn't really have to work all that hard. I just kind of vaguely imposed the UVs over, over the texture, and I think it works quite well. All right, so to summarize, inside Blender, make sure that your material is named material underscore blend. This is the main thing. And now with both of these curtains selected, I am going to go to File. I am going to go to Export, FBX. Here, making sure that selected objects is ticked and mesh. I have a habit of also throwing in Apply Transform. Sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, better safe than sorry. And now I'm going to uh, name it, Just I'm just going to name it Curtain. That's perfectly fine. And let's click on Export. All right, so at this stage I have two files. I have my curtain.fbx, this is my 3D model. And I have my material underscore BA, and this is my transparent texture. Let's go ahead and um, import both of these files into our desktop editor and that's next. So I am inside the desktop editor and in the desktop editor I'm going to go uh, to the asset library. Then I'm going to click on my assets. Here I'm going to navigate quickly to, I have a folder called tutorial files. This is where I'm going to keep uh, the files for this tutorial. And now, and now it's time to bring our file. So here I'm clicking on add new 3D model. And this is where I can choose my files, the two files that I just created. So let's click. And on my desktop, I can select curtain, I can select material BA, select both of them at the same time, click on open both of them are ready here to be uploaded. 
I am going to uncheck preserve offset pivots and we don't really need this in this case. And uh, yeah, so we have these two files, curtain FBX and material underscore uh, BA.png. Let's click on import. So now you can see the little clock icon over here. It says it's processing. So usually this doesn't take too long. It might be um, about half a minute or two minutes depending, but we should be ready to go up oh, just like that. Success, all assets imported. It looks like our curtain is ready to go. So let's go ahead and just drag it into our empty world and keep your fingers crossed. Here we are and it worked perfect perfectly. Everything appears to be working just fine. We have these two curtains grouped right now, but of course I can take care of that. I'm just going to uh, unparent these objects so I have access to them as two separate things. So this one is a little bit more see-through than, than this one, but as you can see, it works just as advertised. I can go closer, I can look through the curtain and it works really, really well. So that's it. I hope this was helpful.